Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Vell Custom. So today I'm going to share with you a little bit of a money saving trick and also how to get, you know, a fine detailing brush without spending a lot of money. Now, uh, this brush right here is a 4-0 uh, brush and something like this is probably like anywhere from 4 to $6 depending on where you go. Now, they're really good brushes, but you can see this is kind of worn out and I've been using it a lot. It might be hard to see in the camera. So... You really, you know, if you really don't want to spend this kind of money, you can kind of make your own with just an exacto knife and a cheaper brush. And I always do this a lot now. Um, so this brush right here is a uh, five slash zero. So it's a little bit bigger, as you can see when it's run next to it. It's a little bit longer and it's thicker. Now you can't really get, you know, fine detailing with this brush. Like I'm talking about detailing, like if you want to paint in. Uh, you know, eyelashes, maybe work on some lips uh, of like really small scale stuff. So, I don't know if you ever guys been to it, but it's called Jerry's Artorama or Jerry's Outlet Store. I forget which one it is. But what they do is they have like an end of the year sale or they have like back to school sales. So they always have like brushes that go anywhere from like a dollar to a dollar sixty a pop. And they usually always stock up on them. But I like to make my own little detailing brushes. So, what I'm going to show you is basically it's really simple. All you have to do is take the, you know, dollar fifty brush, and what you want to do is you kind of want to take a really sharp exacto, kind of split the hairs to where you kind of want it, and then just kind of cut it right off. Right now, you just got to kind of make sure that you're not, you know, missing any. Uh, maybe you know there's a stray one. Take some, uh, you know, your finger, some water, some and stuff, and then kind of see where it's at. If you kind of want a little bit um, thinner, kind of do this with the camera in a way. Let's see. So you can just kind of take it, sort of cut a little bit more. So you can take that one dollar, uh, dollar fifty brush, and make it into a nice detailing brush. Uh, I've done it with a couple other ones. I use them all the time, uh, as you can kind of see. So you can get them really thinner, and you can get them, uh, you know, a little bit thicker. But instead of spending five dollars on this brush, you can get this one for a dollar something, two dollars, and you can make your own. So it's a simple little trick. It's not that hard, and uh, basically I can uh, show you a little bit of a difference with it. So we have the regular size brush that was before I cut it. So when you put it in some black and you run it, you get a thick line. And then now when you take the one I just made, you get a little bit of a thinner line. And like I said, you can cut them down to the sizes you want. So this one right here, a little bit of water, thinner, and you can get a little bit thinner. So, like I said, you know, it's, it's a simple way of saving some money. Uh, and also, you can make the tool you want. So, that's just a simple little trick. Hopefully, you guys like the way it comes out. I mean, uh, I do it all the time. It's just uh, go to those back-to-school sales, make up my own little brushes, and, uh, you know, go from there. So, there's no sense of spending, you know, five... I mean, some of these brushes actually run, you know... God, these brushes right here could run up to anywhere for $30, depending on which ones you get. But, I mean, if you do a lot of painting and stuff, these work just as fine for $1.60. So, that's all you really need. So, $1.60, an X-Acto knife, and you get yourself a nice, fine, detailed brush where instead of spending $6 to $30, depending on, you know. But, I mean, if you like those expensive ones and they work for your more power to you, but for me, you get these brushes and simple little cut, and you got yourself a nice, fine, detailing brush. So hopefully it helped you guys out, and thanks for watching.